Hello friends, this video on inverse trigonometric functions part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Let's take some example way to prove that 3 sine inverse x is equal to sine inverse of 3x minus 4x cube where x is between minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2. This is a little tricky question, so please pay attention here. We have to prove that 3 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse 3x minus 4x cube. So let's assume sin inverse x is equal to y. That's the first thing we can do because we don't know what to do now. So let's do this. So we'll assume sin inverse x is equal to y or we get y is equal to sin. What is the next step? Next step is let's take the RHS, what the RHS is and where it takes us. RHS is nothing but sine inverse of 3x minus 4x cube and that is nothing but sine inverse of 3 x is nothing but sorry x is nothing but sine y here so 3 sine y minus 4 sine cube now we are stuck so if you see this is the RHS and the LHS is nothing but 3 sine inverse x correct so somehow and x is nothing but I mean x is nothing but uh, sine inverse x is nothing but if you can be able to prove this is nothing but actually 3 y because 3 sin inverse x is nothing but 3 y because sin inverse x is y so we have to prove this is nothing but 3 y correct so to prove this has nothing but 3 y we have to prove that this is nothing but sin 3 y because sin inverse of sin 3 y becomes 3 y so we have to prove this as sin 3 y so we have to actually prove we have to prove the challenge here is we have to prove that sin 3y is equal to 3 sin y minus 4 sin q this is our challenge actually you know why because the RHS here is 3y and to get this sin inverse something to be 3y this whole thing has to be sin 3y because sin inverse sin 3y is equal to 3y correct and this back tucking it so in that case, we have to prove this. So our problem is to prove sin 3y is equal to 3 sin y minus 4 sin 2. So let's try to prove this. Let's put the line here. This much is more than So I'll get sin 3y using LHS here. Is sin 3y, let's break this into sin. 2y plus y just trying hit and trial method because we just break it so sine a plus b is nothing but sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so this becomes sine 2y cos y plus sine y cos 2y this becomes sine 2y cos y sine y cos 2y this becomes Again, we have to put everything in the form of sine actually. That's our target here. We have to put everything in the form of sine. So sine 2y cos y. Sine 2y we know is nothing but 2 sine cos. So this becomes 2 sine y cos y and this cos y is again here plus sine y. Let this be sine y only. Cos 2y I can make as cos square by minus sine square by. Why I am doing this? Because I want to just break everything in form of sine and, and to get some sine cube also. So with this I can get one sine cube at least. So with this I got 2 sine y into cos square y. This is nothing but 2 sine y into cos square y plus this becomes sine y into cos square y minus sin square y. So 
I just want sine square, so I just make cos square nothing but 1 minus sine square. So this becomes sine y into cos square as 1 minus sine square. And this is again one more, one more sine square y. So now if you see everything is in the form of sine square except this. This is in the form of cos square, so again this also I will make this as the form of sine square. So this becomes 1 minus sine square because cos square is nothing but 1 minus sine square y plus sine y into 1 minus sine square. So I have got everything in the form of sine square now. So let's see what is the value here. This is nothing but 2 sine y minus 2 sine q y plus sine y minus 2 sine q y. So this becomes 3 sine y minus 4 sine q y. So you see this is exactly what we are looking for. Thus we can say that 3 sine y minus 4 sine q y is nothing but sine 3 y. So this I write nothing as sine inverse of sine 3 y. And this becomes 3 y and 3 y is nothing but y is sine inverse x. So 3 sine inverse x. And this is my RFS. RFS is 3 sine inverse x. So I proved RFS is equal to RFS. You have to think here in this question because we are stuck here. And then by backtracking we found that we have to prove this equal to this. And then we tried expanded this sine 3y and covered every cos square into sine square and got one equation in forms of sine sine only and that came out to be 3 sine y minus 4 sine d. Let's take one more example. Here we have to prove that 3 cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse of 4x cube minus 3x. Very much similar to the same last question we have solved. So here also we will do the same thing as we just practice for you guys. So cos inverse x we will make it as y or that is x is equal to cos y. We will start with RHS. RHS is nothing but cos inverse of 4 x cube minus 3x and this comes out to be cos inverse of 4 x cube that is 4 cos cube y minus 3 cos y correct and now again here also to make this as to be uh, my LHS that is 3 cos inverse x that is 3 y I have to make this as cos inverse 3 y so my, my goal here is I have to prove that 4 cos cube y minus 3 cos y is equal to cos 3y. If I can prove this because if I have to prove this as cos inverse of cos 3y. So that means this is equal to cos 3y. If I prove this as cos 3y, my problem is solved. So let me start with this guy, RHS. Let's take cos 3y. Let's break this also. So this becomes cos 2y plus y. And again, cos a plus cos b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So this becomes cos 2y cos y minus sine 2y sine y. And again, this uh, cos 2y is nothing but cos square x minus sine square x. So it's cos square minus sine square y. Why I'm doing this? Because I'm removing all two y terms. I want everything in form of y only. And this is cos y minus sine 2y again. I have to make it 2 sine y cos y. And here it again sine y. So what I got till now is cos square minus sine square. Again, sine square I don't want. I will make it again cos square. So this becomes uh, minus sine square become cos square minus 1. So that is cos square y plus this becomes cos square y minus 1 into cos y minus 2 cos y into sin square y and sin square y again write as 1 minus cos square y. So you see everything is in the form of cos square 
So if we solve this, this becomes 2 cos cube y minus 2 cos y minus 2, sorry, minus cos y minus 2 cos y minus cos y minus 2 cos y plus 2 cos cube y. So this becomes 4 cos cube y minus 3 cos y. So if you see this, this is exactly what we wanted to prove. And thus we can say that 4 cos cube y minus 3 cos y is nothing but cos 3y. So this becomes cos inverse of cos 3y. And this becomes 3y. And this is nothing but 3 cos inverse x. And that is my answer. So if you see what we have done, we have just assumed cos inverse x equal to y and then by backtrack we have we found that we have to prove that 4 cos cube y minus 3 cos y is equal to cos cube y. This is by backtracking I found this cos 3y actually. And then I expanded cos 3y and I found that both are same. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.